So at first when we've heard it and gone out and had a look, we assume that he's calling to the other monkeys. Um, I think we kind of thought that he was just calling for them to like get back. Um, and then the owner of the place that we're staying in, Shamel, she's a lovely lady, but someone that you don't really want to cross. <laughs> we're just sitting there walking out from some of the other rooms with this big shotgun in our hand. Oh, so shotgun. <laughs> it's a tiny little pellet gun, that was an exaggeration. <laughs> Not a tiny little pellet gun, but... It's big. Big gun, like this big. It's not a shotgun. <laughs> anyway, she anyway. walked out with this gun in her hand and started shooting into the trees. Um, I think she doesn't want a guest. It's pretty early. It's like quarter past six, so she doesn't want a guest to be woken up by the monkeys. And she, st she told us that the monkey cries out like that when there's danger so most likely she thinks there's some sort of leopard in the area which is crazy she keeps shooting at the monkeys the monkeys i don't know if you can still hear it but the monkey's still making the noise so she's given up and she said the monkey's obviously terrified he's still making the noise even though i've been shooting at him so it was obviously some sort of real danger so we're heading out in a minute um, <laughs> We're gonna have to be careful of these leopards. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we should be more careful about ladies walking around with shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, good morning proper. Um, we were up early this morning because we know that on the other side of the river from where we're staying on Hampi Island they have a temple where they keep an elephant and we know that between 7 and 8 o'clock they bring that elephant down to the river and give him a nice little scrub a dub in the river. Whoa, <laughs> pretty nearly <laughs> fell over. <laughs> so they also run a boat as well over the little river crossing which is normally 20 rupees up 20p but I don't think it's going to be ran this morning because no, it's so early it, no. no so we might have to people have told us as well you can kind of rock hop over the river on the far left hand side so go and check it out morning, morning. No, uh, no thank you chai another benefit of being up this early is in the early morning sun, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. So we jumped off the boat on the Hampy Main and we were going to look for a tuk-tuk or rickshaw and we met Ravi. 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 For a thousand or a thousand one hundred rupees for the afternoon to take us around uh, most of the attractions around here. So this should be good fun. First rickshaw in India. We just 
going to try and spew out information Ravi's just given us. <laughs> <laughs> Pass it off on our own Pass knowledge. it off, yeah, we know about this. First place you dropped us is the Ganesh Temple, and then 100 metres up there, there's a nice viewpoint. This wow. was carved out of one piece of stone, he said. Looks like a whole load of nothing, but it was once used as a marketplace. I think it's called the Krishna Marketplace, um, where they came to trade obviously all their food, every, all their spices, and probably animals. Uh, but it's amazing kind of imagining all these empty stalls just being full of people and like all the central bits being full of people. I'm guessing they've done like the side stalls like to give them shade and the heat. I suppose so. It's huge though. Big space it's for really marketplace. It's a lot of people in India. It needs to yeah, be true. Big. And it's right opposite another temple, which is under construct. Well, under refurbishment. Refurbishment, that's it. Cool. <laughs> No idol in this temple, but no, it's um, got loads of carvings and like depictions, like telling stories of like Lord Rama. So I think it's just gonna like, be stories and carvings all over. Said a thousand like, carvings. A thousand carvings. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> in the elephant stables. <laughs> Want some food? <laughs> Did I fool you? <laughs> yeah, completely <laughs> and utterly tricked. The stables aren't too bad really. Thinking about like animal cruelty and stuff, I think they were quite well looked after. Yeah. Like, the, the Indian elephants aren't as big as African elephants, so the space is, I think, good enough. It's also super cool over here. See, so out of the heat. And they have a wind base look. <laughs> wind <It's> garden. <laughs> I think. I think they had a bar across the window so they didn't sneak out at night. <laughs> You see all the elephants down the road. <laughs> Find yourself some fangirls. She was so sweet. <laughs> um, what, another temple? The last. The last temple? Yeah. I don't think that's the actual name for it, but it's the last temple for us. <laughs> no, it's um, again one of the main attractions in Hampi. It's got this giant um, stone chariot, and it's actually one of the busiest places we've gone to today, but it's still not that busy, so it's quite nice. It's nice. 
Stone chariot. So that's it, back at starting point. We've had a wicked day today, it's been great fun. So I'm trying to figure out how to get down to the boat. I think it's been really good. Bray's doing a bit of shopping by the way, so she's not with me. Um, I think it's been really good getting the rickshaw actually. I think we paid a thousand in the end, thousand rupees, which is like 10, 10 pounds. So we got like two pounds an hour. That's pretty good. Took the stress out for took the stress out of it for us. And uh, I think because we only had half a day to finish with, because after we had breakfast and stuff, it wasn't until past 12 that we got over here. If I was going to come and do a full day, it might be nice to get the bicycles out and just, yeah, cycle around it, really. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along for the, the rickshaw ride. And uh, we're going to chill out and wait for the boat to come pick us up to take us back over to uh, Hippie Island. Mm -hmm.